This is Lei Feng, a Chinese soldier who has been a national icon for past half of a century. He was born in 1940 and died in 1962 while on duty. After he died, Chairman Mao wrote down, "Learn from Comrade Lei Feng, calling on the entire nation to learn his virtues and values he stood for. One of them is altruism." Lei Feng has been portrayed as someone who always thinks about others, helps others, and strives to contribute to the collective good without much concern for his personal interests. Another is his very thrifty lifestyle, which in the 1960s was promoted by the government because China at that time was battling famine and only just started to build an industrial economy. This year marks the 50th anniversary of Lei Feng's death, and the Chinese government launched a media campaign to once again call on the entire nation to learn from Lei Feng. So here you can see Lei Feng was featured on the homepage of the website of China's official news agency Xinhua, but on Xinlang Weibo, China's most popular microblog site, people have different opinions. This Weibo post on February 29th revealed that everything Chinese people have been told about Lei Feng, all his good deeds, and all the photos people have been familiar with about Lei Feng were actually results of authorities' propaganda efforts to establish Lei Feng as a role model. Here are some examples. In this picture, Lei Feng is helping his comrade to sew up his comforter. Here, Lei Feng gave his own lunchbox to a comrade who didn't bring his lunch, and here Lei Feng is taking care of an old lady and a young child. Then, in this picture, Lei Feng is fixing his worn-out sock to show how frugal he is. And in this picture, which has been widely questioned by people on Weibo. Lei Feng is reading selected works of Chairman Mao using a flashlight. And by the way, being an avid reader of selected works of Chairman Mao was the original reason that the authorities wanted to make Lei Feng a role model. As it is reviewed on the internet, all these photos were pose shots, not real-time shots of the actual action. They were taken for pure propaganda purposes. Although the photographer said scenes in these pictures were constructed based on actions documented in Lei Feng's own diary, but on Weibo, people are questioning the, the legitimacy of Lei Feng's exemplar. In this post, real estate entrepreneur Ren Zhiqiang said Lei Feng is not a moral symbol, but a tool for the authorities to turn citizens into screws. That could be placed anywhere, and therefore no need for democracy, human rights, and freedom. So, while the state media continue to sing high praise of Lei Feng, people are expressing different views on Weibo and questioning facts as well as values that have been taken for granted for decades. In this case, Weibo became the iconoclast of a long-standing national icon. Yeah.